And those seven things that I've written on my stairs are courage, inspiration, vision, perseverance, strength, imagination, and probably most important to me of all, and that's faith. And without all of these things, I think that I wouldn't be able to be an artist at all. So with these things in mind, I think I have everything I need to go and paint. So here I go. Oh, yeah, and car keys. It's 7 a.m. almost, and I'm on my way over to Rosebank Farms, which is on John's Island. It's about, oh, about 10 minutes from my home here, and it's over the last 20 years, I've done a lot of paintings over there. I like to get there early. It's, uh, the lights looks pretty good right now. The sun is just coming up and uh, it's gonna be hot, but you know, it's South Carolina, it's summertime and, and uh, we get used to it here. Hi, Tisha. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I made it. <laughs> I've chosen Tisha for this painting called Coop because she's just seemed the most logical person. After all, she works at Rosebank Farm. She's gathered the eggs there before. She sells the eggs. And she's, to me, the true Johns Island girl. I couldn't imagine anybody else but Tisha being in this painting. So what I'm thinking is, you know, again, in the light. So let's go around. Oh, look, there's a few eggs. How do you get the students often ask me if I use photographs in my work, and the answer is yes, I do, but with caution. Good morning, girls. I don't think I'm a particularly good photographer, but I managed to get what I'm after. The important thing to remember when you're, when you're doing photographs is not to rely on them. They're just a resource. Remember that the camera cannot see into shadow and see all the colors that we can with our natural eyes and the camera does not have an opinion so the camera's not going to catch your emotion how you feel about something. When I take photographs of the model I make sure that I get some close-ups of, of everything so as I'm working with the model I'll get close-ups of her face, close-ups of her hand and I walk all around the model too to take the photographs so that I can see different options like from this angle wow is that nice right here the lights coming just right over see how it just highlights the beautiful highlights on her face beautifully there and I like it an angle like this especially when half the face is in light and half of it's in shadow you can see there's gonna nice bounce light right up here from the shoulder up onto the cheek there what I look for in a model is uh, obviously there are certain practical aspects that an artist requires we need to know that the model can hold the pose for an extended period of time. We need to know that they're going to be comfortable with us looking at them. And that takes a special personality, someone who's absolutely comfortable with you staring at them, scrutinizing them, and not everybody can do that. Beyond that, what I look for is a certain profoundness in the model. I, I have said before that I think that our paintings find us that we meet somebody that just really fires up our imagination. And Tisha always got what I was after, this kind of look, the feeling that I wanted for the model. My favorite painting is probably set the old brown house. It's my favorite because that was the day that I told her I was pregnant with Kylea. And for me, that was really special. Here we are on location at this brown shack that belonged to a relative, right, of yours. And we're sitting in the doorway and, and uh, Tisha just told me this. And I just thought, what a wonderful thing to share with someone you know. And I mean, how special to be, you know, one of the first people to know that you were expecting. And just to paint you, your hands, and the way you were seating and that wonderful expression on your face was meaningful for me. 